Hello everyone, so sorry we didn't have a video last week. If you can't tell, I snapped my glasses in half and I honestly couldn't function without them. So this week what we're doing is I'm going to give you recommendations for different types of building materials that you can use for your classrooms, or for your kids, or just in case you're interested in them. There are good alternatives to Legos. Just a reminder, none of these are sponsored items. These are all just items that we have that I've taken out to a bunch of programs. I get asked a lot by parents and teachers what I recommend in replacement for Legos if people can't afford Legos or maybe they want something a little bit different than Legos. So this is just my recommendation video, much like the robot and the uh, electronics recommendation video that we've already made. I personally really love Legos. I think it's a great way for kids to be able to be creative and think critically, especially if you can get them projects to do or even just make them work as a team to build something super simple. It gives them a lot of opportunities to just work with stuff. As much as I love Legos, the biggest issue that I have with them is the fact that they are square, which means unless you are super Lego savvy, you're gonna have difficulty coming up with stuff that's not going to be a house. And I see a lot of houses. While houses are great, and I love seeing the creativity that comes up with the stories behind the home. I wanted to find different options that would give the kids a chance to be a little bit more creative. Most kids have access to Legos, whereas with some of this other stuff they might not have access to. The first one I have here is what's called a plus plus block or hashtag blocks depending. There is an off brand that you can get at Target for about a dollar, but these are a little bit more expensive that you can get. They come with little instructions on specific projects like this little guy right here and it's got all the pieces in here for that project but you can also mix and match them with other ones they're really cool but the pieces are kind of tiny so that's just kind of the one downside but i do recommend the dollar option if you come across it at a dollar store or at target the next one is my personal favorite that is the brain flakes these are about 15 dollars on amazon you can get them in buckets uh, they come with 1500 pieces and they are some of the coolest things that i've ever seen they offer some of the widest variety of creativity that i've seen even more so than legos as you can see here these are some of the creations that kids have made at the programs i've been to they're insanely durable and they just are all around really really fun the next up is connects they have a little bit more versatility than legos do you can also purchase very special sets such as the green set which is the one that we have that gives solar panels as well as projects for water powered stuff and for wind powered projects as well and it comes with instructions on how to make all this but you can also just kind of fiddle around with the solar panels and all the stuff itself and just see what you can make this one's really cool because you can make stuff that's really really durable you can make things that are more complex than you can with legos and you can just really have a blast with it it's always fun to see what the kids come up with this last recommendation is it's one i really like but i will warn you it's very expensive so going into this just keep in mind i think it was three thousand dollars when we purchased it i do recommend it if you have the space and the money this is called the rig and jig think of it as giant legos or like an old-fashioned erector set you can build anything. If you can think of it, you can build anything. I have seen everything from a collection of kids and teens working together to create a functioning swing set to a car that was shaped like a dragon. These are just a few of the things that kids have made before, but it is always really fascinating what they can come up with. And it's always really interesting to see how they work together. I think this more than anything really inspires kids to work together and to make projects together. Here are a couple of other items that we don't currently have but I do recommend. I've used them before in the past. I do highly recommend them. So again, the links will be down below in the description. Thank you for watching. I hope this was informative. If you have any questions, as always, be sure to leave them down below in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great day.